Hi guys, hope you're having a great day today. It's raining. Surprise, surprise. No, <laughs> it's raining today, but it's okay. We're home. It's a non-lake day. So we are home. Usually today is Tuesday. Usually we do our omelets today, but I am in a mode of, we have a lot of food left over from the weekend. My daughter and um, future son-in-law were here and stuff. And so we are just kind of like, I threw some ribs in the crock pot for my husband and that's what they're going to eat tonight. And then I decided to grill some chicken. So I just found this great thing and it's amazing. I thought I would share you might know everything about this. I do not. I always bought pita bread and then I would just pull it out of the refrigerator, cut it and put toppings on it and eat it. When you go to a restaurant, it's nice and like crispy, but it's fluffy. And I'm like, how do they do that? And I guess I just never really did anything with it. So maybe you already do this and maybe this is all like you're good to go. But for those of you like me that didn't, genius little, little grilling hack, I guess is the word. So what I did is I'm grilling my chicken. I put down my tin foil. These are chicken breasts. And so what these were um, marinating and Italian dressing. So I'm just grilling them. I'm not chopping them up. Once you chop them up, they, <laughs> my future son a lot, which just reminding me of this, when you start cutting them apart, they get really dry. And so if you, I just chopped this one and I actually took a thermometer in here just to check the temperature. So make sure you grill them till the proper temperature. It's 180 degrees. And so these are almost done. They'll be a lot juicier if you bring them in, let them sit and then, um, and then start cutting up. So we're gonna do that today. Thank you, Paul, for that. But what we did is I got this thing right here. I got my pita bread in it. So what I did is I took my pita out of the freezer because we freeze it because it's not fresh right away. And all I did was take my parchment paper and layer it. I didn't know if you'd have to layer it individually, so I thought I'd do a trial run, stick this in between. If you put them in between, they stay a little mushy. So this is awesome because my pita is like crispy, but it's like fluffy in between. Okay, so if you do if you do them on top of each other, they do a little bit crispier, but if you put the paper in between, they still a little bit mushier, but not mushy in a bad way, mushy in a good way. So this is genius. I just put this out here. It's been cooking for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And it's making my pita bread awesome. So I don't know, maybe you already know that. I did not and been making it for my entire life out of the refrigerator or fresh and it's kind of dry. This is awesome. So this is what they're gonna have tonight. We're gonna take this, chop this, put some shredded cheese on this and chop with chicken. And they can put lettuce on it, salsa sour cream or ranch something simple but something I just figured out so I don't know easy way to do pita bread so all I'm doing is I put my piece of parchment paper because I didn't want to get dishes out right now and then I put shredded cheese on it and I took the chicken and kind of pulled it apart to put on there and I put it in the microwave for a minute you could probably put it in the grill but I just threw it in the microwave and I'm feeding kids because we're eating kind of like a different backwards day today and so this one's been microwaved. Here it is. It tastes really good. They love it. And then um, some like lettuce on it, some like salsa, not all of those. But this is it. This is how we're going to make our simple, whatever you're going to call this, grilled chicken with a puffy pita bread. I don't know. I don't even know. But just a good, easy way to use up some chicken and some cheese and some good pita breads. So we're going to serve ours with salad, taco salad, watermelon, some grapes, and we're going to have this simple. My husband will come home with a half rib. So easy dinner. It's just a way to use up some leftovers here. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed this super, super simple, very short video today. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.